day one, we will begin working on an impenetrable, physical, tall, powerful, beautiful southern border wall. Can your campaign overcome that flub, if you will? Well, I hope so, because I'm very aware of the policy. And going on the show yesterday, thinking Aleppo was an acronym, and hey, uh, I take complete responsibility. I'm running for president of the United States. Uh, look, uh, I, I should have known what he was talking about. I, we weren't even talking about it in the context of anything. But that said, the policy, the policy that exists is Aleppo is at the epicenter of what is happening in Syria. I mean, on the east side of Aleppo, you've got the uh, regime forces, Assad. Uh, they are fighting against the Syrian Free Syrian Army, which we're supporting, that is also uh, allied with the Islamists. Uh, we're arming um, the Free Syrian Army. Those arms are falling in the hands of the uh, uh, Islamists. You've got uh, Raqqa in the north. Uh, you've got uh, ISIS. And what would you do? What would Kurds. you? What would you do about Raqqa? Well, uh, first of all, as President of the United States, uh, I would have never gotten in this situation in the first place. I don't think that any time we support regime change, that, ha that it has resulted in a safer world, that it has resulted in a less safe world. Look, we're going to see the end uh, to fighting ISIS, but back to what we're currently doing, we're backing the Kurds uh, uh, fighting ISIS. Well, the Kurds are sideways with our ally Turkey, and Turkey is not as much of an ally as they were because of us having invaded uh, Iraq. Regime change, regime change. Um, this would be a policy difference uh, fr from prior administrations. This segment was brought to you by Deep Womb Off for those pesky fetuses. As seen at the Democratic National Convention, now available in pumpkin spice scent and at your local Planned Parenthood. Deep Womb Off. Fight it from inside. Oh, uh, if you're taking a look now, you can wow. see that we've just had another explosion and that is considerably lower. And is that in the other building? Is that, that what I'm witnessing? That that apparently does look like it is in the other building at this point. There is no question that by her own caption that she intended to shame this woman. And that's the nub of it. Following the incident, Mathers was banned from all LA fitness gyms and has made most of her social media accounts private. The city attorney says he hopes to decide whether or not to file charges very soon. Nora? Maria, thank you. Wow, banned from gyms and just I'm not disappointed. It's such a mean girl move. And you, and you look at that woman, she's somebody's mother, maybe somebody's grandmother. And the explanation, I just meant to send it to my friend. Like, that makes it okay. Not nice. Not nice at all. Stop, beautiful bastard. I don't think that I can call you beautiful bastards anymore because apparently that and several other things I do are not, quote, advertiser friendly. I had heard murmurings. I had heard a few YouTubers talking about it, but we personally got hit with it yesterday. Yesterday's video and most likely many in the near future will not be monetized here on YouTube. Based off of this update, it appears it's because I use what they call excessively strong language. Just following terms of service, a YouTube reserves the right to turn off monetization if a video doesn't follow our guidelines, which it appears my dirty, filthy, horrible mouth does not. And the thing is, I will say, I, I love YouTube. Obviously, it looks like they're well within their rights to do this. It's their damn website. It is also incredibly Concerning. Many times on my show, I have to talk about things that aren't great, just horrible things. By taking away monetization, it is a form of censorship. Taking away the ability to monetize a video where you're saying things that they don't deem okay. That's been described as censorship with a different name because if you do this on the regular and you have no advertising, it's not sustainable. But like I said, YouTube is of course well within their rights. New iPhone has unveiled. That's always fun. A brand new iPhone. This iPhone, um, they have, they said, Things like oh well, this one is uh, is uh, metallic, um, metallic uh, metal, or it's aluminium. They have to say it like that, and then everybody's like, oh wow, what's that? Something new? Something they had to invent it just for the iPhone Seven? 